In this section, we will be solving applications by factoring. We will have two types of problems, integer problems, and the second type will be rectangles, which we will discuss later. The first example states the product of two positive integer numbers is 91, and the sum of the same two numbers is 20. So let's first talk about the phrase positive integer numbers. Recall that integers is the set of all whole numbers, including all the negative whole numbers. So like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, and then positive 1, 2, 3. But the fact that it states it's positive integers, we're just going to only have the numbers on the right side, which is nice. So the first thing we want to do is step one and define the variables. Because we have two integers, we can let x be the first integer and let y be the second integer. Step two, we'll go ahead and set up an equation. The first part of this statement states two positive integers product is 91. So this means that x times y, the two numbers, is equal to 91. So that's our first equation. The second part of the statement states the sum of the same two numbers is 20, meaning that if I add up the two numbers, I would get a sum of 20. Looking at these two equations more closely, we can use our techniques for module C and see that if I solve the second equation for y, then I can substitute in what y equals into the first equation. So if I subtract x here from each side, I would get y equals 20 minus x. And then I could see, I can put 20 minus x right in here into the first equation. So step three would be to substitute equation 2 into 1. So if x times y is equal to 91 and y is equal to 20 minus x, then we get x times 20 minus x equals 91. And if I distribute this x into the parentheses, we can proceed to solve this. So step four would be to solve the equation. So if I did that, I would get x times 20 minus x is 91. Distributing the x to each in the parentheses, I would get 20x minus x squared equal to 91. Now we can see that this is a trinomial because of the x squared term. As long as I get all the terms onto one side of the equation and zero on the other, I can use the zero product property to solve. So let me add x squared to the right side and, and subtract 20x to get it on the right side. And let's move everything over to the right. So that way I could get zero on the left. So in doing this, I would see the minus 20x's, the 20x's and the x squares cancel, I'm left with 0 on the left. And rearranging the terms into standard order, I get x squared minus 20x plus 91. And now I can factor to solve. So I would have 0 equals, factoring this into two binomials. Two factors of 91 
that add up to be minus 20 would be minus 13 minus 7. Using the zero product property, this means that x minus 13 would equal 0, x minus 7 equal to 0. This would imply that x is equal to 13 or x is equal to 7. And sure enough, 13 times 7 is 91 and 13 plus 7 is 20. So therefore, the two numbers are 13 and 7.